right, we have another session uh, with James today, and, and this is our uh, February 2022 edition, of course. James and I have been at this for 10 years. I can't believe it's been 10 years, but uh, something that, you know, we have a lot of familiarity with, I think, the ins and outs of this business, and we see some highlights, and we love to show what we're doing in the field. And I think, to me, I look at uh, the variety of clients we have. And, and so we'll go through a couple today. Uh, so James, let's start with something simple. We're gonna do a screen share and, and let the person who's watching or the person who's you know, listening to this start to see what we're doing with, uh, I think what interests me is a lot of clients who are, or, or have trepidation, who are potential clients, even some, are concerned about when they get loaded up, right? They're like, well, how long is it gonna to take to get clients? And, and you know, I'm not sure, and you know, when am I gonna make my money back? And uh, I'm not sure about, you know, what the framework is this gonna be? And, you know, is this gonna be like a 30 day window or a 90 day window or how fast is things? So I think it's great to, do a real-time thing where we had a client who came in a couple of weeks ago and let's talk about what's happened. All right, so what's up, go? what's going on everyone? Yes, yeah, so we have Studio 48. They just launched about February 2nd. So we're about two weeks in uh, when we're shooting this podcast. Um, they're your typical med spa, you know, offering all the typical med spa services, microneedling, Botox, liposuction, and a little chiropractic thrown in there too. So we started two weeks ago. Uh, they have about 80 leads in so far. Uh, okay, they so have... for a second. Sure. Let's talk about the time frame here just before we get started. So I know I spoke with the owner of Studio 48 somewhere about mid-January, was interested. Uh, and he said, you know, if you guys can help me out, let's get started and, and so forth. And we went through the strategy of what we would see. I think around a week later, he decided to fill out his paperwork and then his payment came through the, around the same time to get started. So he started, he actually physically signed his agreement uh, around the end of the month of January, like, like the last week of January. So I don't know the exact date. So he was up and running by the 3rd of February, that's what you're saying? That's right. Yep. Okay. So it was liable. about a week. So yep. again, the last week of January, he signed. He got started. And so within now two weeks after he started, he has 80 leads. So right. that tells me, and that tells everybody who's listening to this, it's not a function of how fast does it take. I think it's a function of your spend, which he has a decent little spend. And I, I know you can go through the numbers with it. But it, it also comes down to the fact that, uh, you know, Letting us do the work and just getting running and not overthinking it, I think is the biggest thing here. Because I know in the beginning, he did that. He, he sort of stopped us in progression. And, yep. and we said, look, you know, it's just we know what you're saying. Is, what's that? Days. It was just two days in. We had just launched two days later. It was three right. days later. All right, three days in. That's a, he, had, he, he got a little nervous. Right. Uh, we had told him, don't be nervous. And there was no need to be in it shows. Uh, we met with him a week later and he absolutely loved where we were going with this. And yeah, he, you know, it, it takes a while to ramp up, but I'll tell you, he has good offers in the market. Um, the targeting is on point. You know, we've been doing this, like you said, for 10 years. So we, we know how to target Botox users and liposuction users and microneedling users. We, <laughs> that's what we do really good yeah. at it. Uh, just some certain markets because of different advertising spends in that particular market with competitors, you know, sometimes it'll come hit the ground running. And then with literally within the first six hours, you're really cooking with gas. And sometimes it takes a few days, right? So Facebook can find, you know, where to place you in their ad queue, you know, with other com a competitive uh, competing med spas and, and ad spends. So in his particular case, it was around day five, day six, where the system finally optimized and found his place in the queue to target, you know, his audience uh, correctly. And since we've started, you know, those 80 leads, 
they've turned into what is this now February 3rd so we're what oh, two weeks in almost a little less a little day under two weeks they've already had three people sit in their seats for three Botox appointments and they have over 21 scheduled for the month of February already right so you know you're looking at a you know 25 percent booking rate and you know out of that 25 that came in you know another 10 percent I've already just sat in, they've already paid. So, you know, they did. So like in his particular case, like you were saying, the the ramp up and getting nervous and, you know, we're not moving fast enough. It's, it's there's a lot of uh, factors at play when you're doing this, you know, the offer, the, your spend, you know, the market you're in, you know, the competition you're up against. And we know how to handle all of that. And we've seen this and we've done this for so long that, you know, after a couple of days, we kind of know what, that factor is, you know, and then we can adjust accordingly. And that's what we did with him, which was, there was no adjustment. It was just kind of hang tight. You know, they're just trying to optimize you right now. And that's exactly what it was. Right. And that's what I was saying. I, I think in his case, which is interesting and he's not saying anything wrong or, or he's not doing anything, but he got very concerned about sales copy and it wasn't working for this and it wasn't working for this reason. And we had said, look, all the points you're bringing up, are valid. We're not saying that they're not valid, but 98% of it doesn't matter because the market is the market. And the market's not going to care what color your, you know, ad font is or what your, you know, which way the picture's looking. And a lot of this stuff is just sure in the broader scope of things, when you talk about a demonstrative difference in A versus B, of course, there would be a, a positive momentum. We wouldn't say that. But when it first starts out, it's offer over everything. It's over what's everything. the offer? Yeah. Yeah. I, in, in, the, in the Facebook paradigm, is it's an offer, targeting, and then creative and copy. Right. 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 right, right. That, that's the paradigm. That's that's the secret sauce. If you want to know, that's 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 how the that's the way how you approach these. You have to have that offer. If your offer is no good. You know, and, and we've had that with some clients recently where they went from a really good offer to a really bad offer and things started to kind of trend down. And it was obvious, you know, you increased the offer of your service and, and now your competitors came in and just took all that business away from you. As simple as that. So just to, for entertainment purposes here, what are the cost per leads in these categories since we're on this screen because you can sort of scroll over and we can see the acquisition costs? Sure. So what you're looking at here is, and I'll, I'll work my way up, is for our liposuction, you know, these and these particular services, they, you know, charge thousands. He's getting them at $16, $15.95 per lead. He's gotten 27 in less than two weeks. Botox, low teens, $14, you know, right under $15. And they've gotten 39 of those and they've been booking those. Um, and then the chiropractic. And actually, it's funny, we're having a meeting with him today to talk about chiropractic because these have all been booking, you know, have come in, they've paid. And if they haven't come in and paid yet, they're on the books for the med spa stuff. So we're having a conversation on how to integrate chiropractic into what is a med spa. Those two normally don't really sync up, but we have some ideas. Um, of how to, how to make it work. And we're actually speaking with him today and we're going to be making those updates. So he is getting the leads for chiropractic, even though he's a med spa. It's just, like I said, they're a med spa. So that's where their focus right. is. We've got, to, we've got to kind of coach him around how to book these, which we also do. It's kind of- Yeah, culture. and I, I think that that's a very common uh, interwoven discussion, which is multi, multi-practice strategy, which we do really well at when people have multiple practices within their uh, their location. And, and we find this with guys like this, uh, like these guys who have got a wellness practice and a, and a obviously med spot combined, you know, husband and wife type thing. And we're seeing this more often than not when I think one of the practices sort of fades and then the other one picks up. And most of the time it's because people want the cash and carry business in the med spa side. So it, we've seen it with, I've seen it with optometrists. I've seen it with dentists. And I, I you know, obviously PT and Cairo is very common to have multi-practice uh, strategies. And it just doesn't necessarily mean that it's uh, something that, uh, is a business model that you know people need to pursue, but I think we happen to have multidisciplinary 
capabilities because we've worked on so many different campaigns in the medical threshold that, you know, you're right, the coaching on how to work these together and cross pollinate these campaigns is great. That's awesome. Yeah. Why don't we get yeah. on to the next? So sure. That, you, you know, so that, you was, that was a, a new client, right? Brand new. Right. So we're going to go to another client, uh, BHRT, HRT training <clears throat> uh, course. They've been with us uh, well, since, wow. I would say uh, about eight months, nine months, 10 months, right. eight, 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 10 months, right? Uh, I'm just looking here at a 30 day uh, look back right now on what they've been doing recently in the last month. And yeah, it's it's really simple. They do an ebook download for their main campaign. That kind of gets something in the potential uh, client, patient, you know, student's hand because they're giving training courses, gets it in their hands so they can learn about it. Right. Um, they put that in there. Um, we're also running a web traffic campaign. Right. And we've kind of taken their online course, you know, and kind of broken it out into little video clips to kind of tease people. You know, and we've also made this a downloadable to, to also download the ebook. But this gives them a little bit more where opposed to, you know, our main campaign where it's just a picture of, of the ebook that we're doing. So we're getting it, and, and, and here's another thing, is a strategy of using both video and photos as creatives and using two different types of ad products. One was just a photo ad. If you look at the web traffic one, that was a carousel ad, which you have multiple ad spots in there. So, you know, you wanna make sure you appeal to all potential users that, you know, some people just like photos, some people just like videos, you know, some people like to have a, a lot of information so we're targeting the same audience with a, a variation of creatives uh, approach. And it's all for the same thing as to get this download, right? And then we're doing a retarget audience. So everybody that downloads the book or gets to the landing page or clicks on you know, the web traffic ad, we retarget them again uh, with the same thing, with an ebook download, right? So that, that's, that's their strategy. They wanna get that in their hand. Once they get that in their hand, their inside team follows them up, ask them questions, and then gets them on the books to uh, do a training course, right? And then what we just recently launched, just what is this, January 25th, again, two weeks ago, they have like a subset course within there that we're running um, a campaign for, which we're using these, uh, this re all this audience to retarget for this course. So, I mean, they've gotten 15 of those leads at $15 each. Um, and I think right now on the books out of those 15 this last month, I think six or seven have signed up for the course, which is, you know, a 50% booking rate, which is great, which tells you that, you know, sometimes doing too much overwhelms people. So we took out subsets. We spoke with the client. She said, this seems to be the one that people will really gravitate towards. We said, fantastic. Let's run this specifically. Right. And it shows in the numbers and it shows in the results uh, of them actually booking courses. So. Yeah, and that's that give and take with the client too, right? Yeah. Is 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 learning from them and then understanding what works, what has been working for them, and then kind of reapplying that into the Facebook and Instagram ads. Right, and a different subset of clientele here because we're going after medical practitioners, nurse practitioners, medical offices, uh, you know, people related to the business. So we're not going directly to clients. This is a B two B strategy, which Correct. is a unique way to look at it. So they're selling a $3,000 plus course. And we know that these people who are interested, you can't just sell them a course, you have to get them educated before you get them into a funnel, right? So this is really an educational funnel that then brings them to that consultation phase. Uh, then as they go through the consultation phase, they sign up and we've had some really good results uh, with this particular client who is um, and it's taken a while to figure out what's the best thing to get that will match what the audience is looking to imbibe or consume, right? Because we know that just sending, you know, a general, uh, I would say, ebook download is okay, but you don't get a quality prospect. And what we figured out is if we went, as you said, to these subsets and figured out, let's go specific into each one of the subsets, we're getting 50% conversions because that's what we found out, you know, they're looking specifically, not generally. 
So correct. I mean, just I mean, Facebook ads and real life shopping, the the consumer is always the same. Everyone has their own specific uh, product or service that you're looking for, right? It doesn't change in Facebook ads or anything. And that's and like I said, that communication with the client and learning that. We just apply that on on you know our digital Facebook advertising. It's just as simple as that. Right, and and then across the boards, they've had you know a hundred plus leads come through in the last thirty days, and I know that they're closing well because they're very very active. With I mean, their- look, I mean, look at this. Look, look, I mean, you know, since what is this? Uh, well, this is off right here. We we jumped in about eight months ago. This is this is not all of us, but yeah, in eight months' time, you know. And, and and to be honest with you, it's not a big marketing budget, a uh, couple of thousand dollars a month. Right. So, you know, it's it's a it's a low risk approach to Facebook ads, and they definitely have made their you know their return back tenfold, if more than that. Oh, so, yeah. Good. Done okay, that. So, so now we've done somebody who just started. We've done someone who's now targeting practitioners and targeting like a different set of subset of candidates that is more B two B. But still in the medical world with um, you know hormone training and, and hormone related study, let's move on to a traditional, and let's see someone who's been with us you know sort of a long term, and we can see some really interesting numbers. And I I love to see, like this is I think they've been with us for multiple years. This, yeah, this I actually, is- yeah, I have it here for two years, but we had switched to a new ad manager, so this is actually just two years of, I think about three and a half or four that they've been with us. Right. The results, right. So yeah, I mean, this is Aesthetica Med Spa in Paramus, New Jersey. They've been great, steady. They are one of the clients that were actually not nervous in the beginning. You know, we, you know, they kind of put it in our hands. They, they knew what they were good at. We knew what we are good at. And it's been a great synergy since day one with them. And they, they were a startup. So we started right from the ground up. I was there shooting video when equipment was coming in. You know, it wasn't even fully stocked yet. And they've been running, like I said, the typical med spa services, cool sculpting, hydrofacial, Botox, laser hair removal. These have been their, you know, their uh, uh, cornerstone offers. And and really, honestly, maybe we change these offers a couple of times, if, well, not more than a couple of times, I would say maybe about every quarter, if not every quarter, at least twice a year, because they work. And that's the other thing too, that people have to understand with Facebook, especially with someone that we've been with for so long. And we can tell you, as a matter of fact, if something's working and the offer is good and you're booking, you're getting leads and you're booking them, never change things just for the sake of changing things, right? <laughs> if you're making right. your if you're making your return and everything's happy, because that's always another downfall with a lot of businesses, things are going fantastic. And then they try to change it up. And I always push back from that. I go, we can try run a parallel and see how it does, but never just do it. And and that's what they've done. They've kind of been straightforward. I think the hydrofacial, we've changed the offer twice, three times since we've started with them. The cool scoping, we're kind of subjected to cool scoping as corporate offers available, but we always kind of find the one that that appeals to her market the best. Botox has been, I think, nine dollars a unit since, you know. The beginning of time, <laughs> right? right? And laser laser hair removal is a, is a, is a quite a good a good percentage off uh, for first time uh, customers. That's what we're appealing to here. And the cost per leads have been fantastic. You know, uh, for services that cost hundreds, if not thousands, you're paying an average of what is this about twenty twenty five dollars a lead overall. You know, a cool scope thing where their total ticket price can be like four or five thousand dollars. You're paying thirty three dollars a lead. That's a no brainer. Um, same thing with hydrofacial ups and downs. You know, yeah. it's and I think that's the key here is that they stayed consistent and didn't shut things off. When that's when you get problems because then you have to the algorithm has to find you again, put you back, slot you back in. It Correct. needs to now think about do I put you in or the other person in or the other practice in. You know, yeah, and there's, and, there's and, and the, other thing, the other thing is too, Matt, is you know, with the cool sculpting, I'll give you some. You just said you don't shut it down, but for December and January of this past year, when the Omicron hit, there was literally no one calling them outside of our ads or responding to our ads. People just were not going to go anywhere, period, for such a big exposure. So, you know, these kind of things like hydrofacial Botox laser, you can book a month out, you know. Uh, right. But they just didn't want to 
know, so my point is that we did pause it actually. Um, and we just reallocated into these and then it filled up their appointment book. You know, as soon as the Omicron let up mid January, beginning of January, they, they were stocked right there. And now we just fired up the cool sculpting again here. This is literally just started. So ignore this cost per result. This literally started like three days ago. It's just, it's, it's optimizing right now. But we threw it back into, we threw it back into place with a new offer, a, a better offer. So my point is you can shut it down. We don't suggest it. But if you're going to do it, when you come back into the market, you better make sure that offer is way better than one than it was before we shut it down. Right. That's that's the that's the strategy to something like that. And 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 like I said, 99.99% of the time, yes, you keep things going no matter what, in except for health emergency. <laughs> that's the exception well, these days. Obviously, you know? there's some, some variances based off of geographic territory and Correct. Correct. No, correct. But, but exactly different things, but but that's how you I, do it. I think these guys show the enormity of the market. That's what I think that I was trying to get at, which is that 741 hydrofacial leads, 513 Botox leads, 408 laser hair leads, 613 general leads on top of that, like 1,400 lead ad campaign. I mean, these are just you know, think of the money, not necessarily from a perspective of that every one of those leads turns into a patient, but, you know, even a one out of three or one out of four, I mean, it's going to be, you know, hundreds and hundreds, millions of dollars at the end of a couple of years. I mean, you just can see this. So, you know, this, this, this particular client, and we've had multiple clients like this, and I'm, I wouldn't be surprised because this is what happens when people stay the course. I, I will make a prediction on this podcast. And so make sure you screenshot this and save this. Within the next 12 to 16 months, they will open a second location. That's what, yeah, that's yeah. what happens because we've seen this happen with a bunch of our clients where they stick it out, they make the investment, right? They book. And it becomes a point where, okay, we just literally cannot fit any more people on this on the appointment book in this location. What do we do? You open up another one. So yeah, they're, they're, they're the that kind spas. of client. What's that? Not just med spas. Not just med spas. No, we've done this with chiropractors, physical therapists. Sure. Yeah, I mean, we, we, we have to be careful that the audience that's listening or the person who's listening right now, we may say like you, you know, this is not just only segmented into just these categories we certainly have other you know we have a panoply of different medical uh conditionals but i think at the end of the day the, the models still point in the same direction which is consistency and yeah. give yourself the opportunity to let this stuff work patience and delivery will come to those who will let the systems do their job because that's what they're there for and then right let us hone in like a sh like sharpening a knife over time you know we can get sharper and sharper but it doesn't happen right off the bat um however you shouldn't be afraid to get your toe wet and just jump in and get things running because you will get you know pretty good consistency as we saw from the first uh you know one that we showed so james this is great i, I think you know let's do another one of these sessions uh soon either next month or the following month to go through a couple of other campaigns but i hope that was enough for the listener or the watcher today to make you aware that this stuff is we're coming up to the very 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 busy season for all medical whether it's you know laser hair removal everybody. season everyone laser hair removal season make sure you get that laser hair get it off your legs uh, right. beach or <laughs> in time of practice you're gonna now have people coming out especially in the northeast they're gonna be starting to injure themselves again correct correct so uh, cool, we can cool warrior. yeah yeah it's, it's gonna happen so lots of stuff so thank you james appreciate your help and look forward to our next one you got i'll talk to you later guys